Good Sunday morning, everyone. How is everyone doing on this beautiful day? This is the day that the Lord has made. This is Minister Tremaine coming back at you from a nice sabbatical, amen, with another inspirational message. I decided to take a couple weeks off to refresh and to, uh, you know, uh, let the Lord deal with my mind. Let the Lord give me a new word. And let the Lord take me into a new direction. Amen. And uh, when we let God take us into a new direction, when we rest, amen, when we take a break, we allow the Lord to, to use us in a way like never before. Amen. And I'm glad I took some time off just to relax, to rest. And now, uh, well, fall is in the horizon. <laughs> so now it's time to come back with a power punch. Boom! With a powerful message. Amen. The Lord, the word of the year is direction. This year we're focused on walking in a new direction, changing our direction, and, and, and uh, living life in a new direction like we never lived before. Amen. And I'm glad to be back with you all on uh, this this uh, new season. Amen. Back filming videos after that long sabbatical. Amen. And I feel real good and real well. Amen. This is the day, amen, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Well, let's go ahead and dive deep into our message on this morning. Amen. So today, we're going to come out of the book of uh, Psalms 37, 1 through 7. Amen. And it reads, Do not fret because of those who are evil or envious of those who do wrong. Amen. Do not fret. Amen. Because, you know, we got some evildoers out there that render evil for evil. Amen. But don't worry. You leave them to the Lord. The Lord will take care of them. Amen. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Amen. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Amen. There's a time and a season for everything. Trust in the Lord and do good and dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take the light in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. All you got to do is just delight yourself in him. Amen. Take your hands off of the things that you really, 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 really want. And just delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Commit to your way. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do the rest. Amen. Did you know that if you commit your ways to the Lord and all you got to do is trust in him. Amen. He will do the rest. Amen. We serve a God that will move mountains. Amen. We serve a God that will bless you with a husband and wife. Amen. But you got to commit to the Lord and submit your ways unto him. Amen. All the way unto the Lord. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn and your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still, therefore, and patiently wait on him. Do not fret when other people succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes. They that wait on the Lord shall renew your strength. Amen. You shall mound up like an eagle and soar. Amen. That's if you just learn to just take your hands off of it and let God do the work for you. Amen. My title today is called The Best Thing to Do is Just Leave It Alone. Amen. The best thing to do is just to leave it alone. Amen. What does it mean to leave something alone? It means just to walk away from it and don't look back. Amen. It means or just to put it down or put it back and not buy it. Amen. If you don't have the money for it, don't buy it. Amen. 
If you don't uh, need it, amen, if it's not for you, put it back and leave it alone. Amen. So many of us, you know, want to try to have something that don't belong to you. Something that ain't meant for you. Amen. Then it doesn't work right when it when you get it. Hey, you ever bought something from the store? Amen. And you got it home and then you, 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 you uh, tried it out and it just didn't work out. Amen. Just know that it's just not meant for you. And it's best to put that thing or take it back to the store. Amen. That's what I do. If I buy something and it don't, it don't work out, I'm taking it back to the store where I got it from. Amen. I ain't keeping it. Oh, there's no use to keep it. Amen. Why spend your money on something that's not going to have meaning and purpose? Amen. Saints of God, we got to have meaning and purpose in our lives. Amen. There got to be a purpose for everything in our lives. Amen. We And in, 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 in all things, amen, we got to just learn to just, just let it go and let it flow. Amen. You see, we all have things, places, uh, even people that we love. And everything, there is a time and season for someone to come, to stay. Well, well there's someone to come uh, that, that stays has to come to an end. Amen. Be not conformed to the flesh unto materials and people. Amen. The Bible says, love the Lord thy God with all thy mind, heart, and soul. Amen. We got to learn to love the Lord with all our heart, mind, and soul. Don't put your confidence and trust in flesh. Amen. Don't put your all into people. Amen. Because people come, people go, whether if it's by choice or whether if it's by death. Amen. You got to learn to let that person go and live your life. And men and women out there seeking relationship, you got to learn to take your time when, when choosing a mate. Amen. Because there are plenty of fishes in the sea. Amen. But you got to take your time. That way you may better to mess around and pick the right mate to be in your life. Amen. Never be anxious or eager to try to be with someone or try to go places. Amen. Sometimes it's best just to stay at home and, and get your rest, amen, and focus on yourself and stay to yourself, amen. There's no need for a lot of friends. Who needs a lot of friends, amen? Sometimes you're just better off just by yourself. If you have one or two friends, that's good enough, amen. Even if that friend is an online friend you've been talking to for a while, that's still good enough, amen. And uh, online friends from overseas or out of town is, you know, not a bad thing. It lets you, gives you the opportunity to connect with that person in a, in, a, in a nice way. Amen. So in this lifetime, some things are just not meant to be for you. Just leave it alone and be not conformed to the flesh. Amen. We got to come out of the flesh, the fleshly materials. Amen. And learn to put our trust and confidence in the Lord. And commit all your ways unto the Lord. Let the evildoers go on about their day. And let the Lord deal with the evildoers. Let God deal with those evildoers. Amen. Just let them go. Amen. Let God deal with them. Don't go after those evildoers. If somebody, uh, uh, if a neighbor is acting all rowdy. Amen. Just stay to yourself and mind your business. Amen. If a co-worker of yours is staring at you, <laughs> amen. Just just go on about your day and mind your business, amen. If you're, at the, if you're out in traffic and the person behind you cut you off or, or somebody on the side of you cut you off, just let the peace of God that passes all understand it, amen. Rest in your heart, amen. No matter what that evildoer does and watch how God begins to work. You see, when you take your hands off of it, amen, and leave it alone, amen, you let the peace of God rest in your heart, amen, and God will take care of the rest, amen. So the question today is, why is it important to leave it alone and let go, amen? Why let go? Why not hold on to it? 
Amen. Letting go is a spiritual and or psychological process that requires relinquishing and lessening our attachments to outcomes, desires, and expectations and accepting what is. We got to learn to see reality as it is. The reason why uh, that nice, pretty girl you were talking to walked out your life is because it was time for her to go. Amen. See, relationships have a season. Amen. And some have a time where it's set to expire. That person is, is with you for a while, and then it comes the time for them to go. And some people come in your life for a word or a message for, uh, that, that you have to give them from the Lord. Amen. They're not really meant to be in your life a long time. Some people are. Some people uh, aren't. Amen. And we got to learn to accept reality for what it is. Not better than it is. Not worse than it is. As is. And learn to be thankful and see the good and why that person <coughs> has walked out of your life. Amen. You see, as its core lies... The concept of non-attachment is a principle that is, that, uh, that is in central in uh, Buddhist, uh, Buddhist uh, philosophy. Non-attachment entails freeing ourselves from clinging in both to positive and negative experiences. Amen. Allowing for greater and emotional flexibility and enhanced resilience. Amen. I know that some of y'all may have a crush. Man, some of y'all may have a work crush. Lift to God Almighty. <laughs> some of y'all may have a crush on a young lady you met online. Amen. Some of y'all may have a crush on that girl that you saw at the, or that man or girl at the grocery store. Amen. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> Ooh, she's fine. Amen. But there come a time where that, that, that's not going the way you expect it. And if it's not going the right way, amen, there come a time where you need to let that crush go. Amen. Because if you keep going after something and pursuing it and pursuing it and pursuing it, it's going to keep on running from you. And you're not going to attract it. Amen. Because the right one, the right thing, will see your worth, will see your compassion. Amen will see that you are a true being. Amen. And uh, they will also see that you are a good person. Amen. But you got to let them go if it's not reciprocated. Amen. Let go of anything that ain't reciprocated. Amen. You're talking to a girl for a while. She don't give you her phone number. Amen. She just want to talk to you on social media, amen. And then and, and she, she don't plan to want to meet you or come to see you. It's probably time for you to let the girl go. Because you know what? She's showing you that she's not ready for a relationship. She's showing you that she's not ready to come in and hang out with you, amen. You got to believe what somebody tells you. You know the quote? When somebody shows you or tells you who they are, believe it, amen. And learn to set yourself free from the yokes of bondage. Amen. You see, if we free ourselves from as, from as many of our desires, assumptions, attachments, <sighs> to specific outcomes as possible, we gain equanimity and inner peace. Amen. That passes all understanding. Amen which allows us to accept more calmly whatever happened in here and now. Amen. Somebody lost a wife. Amen. Somebody lost a husband. Amen. Somebody lost a sister, a brother, a cousin. Amen. A mother, a father. Amen. But if you just learn to stay strong. <sighs> Yes, we're going to grieve. Yes, we're going to cry. And we're going to add that void in our lives. Amen. I remember, uh, I share a story with y'all. I remember uh, four years ago, my uh, 
uh, stepfather passed uh, about around this time in 2020. Amen. And yes, we had a boy. And yes, we had that time where we went through a great deal of loss. Amen. But there came a time where we had to learn how to gain equanimity and inner peace and accept more calmly of what happened, pick up the pieces and move on with our lives. Amen. Because you got to realize people going to come and they going to go rather if it's by choice or rather if it's by death. You got to let them go. Amen. Stop holding on to something that happened in the past. Amen. Stop being angry. Oh, because uh, you didn't get to see a family member before you were born. Amen. Or because somebody passed the way that you love dearly. Amen. Stop uh, having a bitter heart. Amen. Walking around all angry and upset and mean and stuff. You got to stop that. Amen. Then it disrupts the harmony. It disrupts the peace in your environment. Amen. You want people to, uh, to, to come around you with that inner peace in you. Amen. Peace. You got to ask God for peace in your life, regardless of what happens. Amen. Because people come, people go, and we got to have peace in our lives. Amen. Because when we have inner peace, we free ourselves from a lot of things in life. And that comes with our desires. Amen. You desire a husband or a wife or desire a house. Amen. You got to put all your desire and your confidence in, in Christ. Amen. Put all your confidence and all your trust in Christ. Amen. And learn to love no matter what happens. Amen. Friends may not be there. Nobody may not be there. And it seems like nobody may not care. Amen. You better off all by yourself and to yourself rather than to be with somebody that ain't going to treat you right. That ain't going to respond to your text. Amen. That's going to be online and ignore your text messages. Amen. Amen. You got to let those kind of folks go. Move on forward with your life and be happy just as is. Until God put the right person in your life. That's why saints of God, amen, we got to take it slow whenever, whatever we want in life, amen. Rather if it's a relationship, rather if it's a dream you're trying to fulfill, let it grow over time and take time to grow, amen. Just like my YouTube channel. When I started it back in 2020, amen, it took time for my channel to grow. I couldn't just get on there and boom, get this many subscribers, amen. And also, speaking of subscribers, I want to I wanna thank uh, all of y'all for subscribing and, uh, and tuning in to my channel. I'm happy to say that I done got over 6,000 subscribers now, 6K. Amen. Amen. It took time for my YouTube channel to grow. Amen. It took time <coughs> for all of my subscribers <coughs> to grow. Amen. Oh, I'm going to take our time and uh, just be content as is. Be content. Learn to be content and happy. Amen. And let God do the rest. If you just learn to focus on your priorities, focus on what's important, and let God do the rest. Amen. And uh, this last article where I read, uh, if we free ourselves uh, from assumptions and desires, came from uh, the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. I, uh, so just want to give credit to to the, the Stanford's Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Um, and also, we all have desires, crushes, and we want to pursue a life with the person. Amen. It is, yes, we meet a girl, rather if it's online, even if you meet a girl from overseas. Amen. Even if you meet a, a beautiful uh, woman from the Philippines. Amen. 
if you visit, if you meet a, a beautiful woman from Africa and you start talking to her, take the time and really get to know with some of the person mind before you jump to conclusions. Amen. Really get to know that person well. And we wanna we really we seem like we wanna pursue a life with that person. It is it is very important. One thing I want you to keep in mind. It's very important to know your worth, to know who you are in Christ. Know what you will accept and won't accept. Amen. Stop going down the deep end, pursuing after these women that are no good for you. These women that tell you uh, they don't know if they want a relationship. Amen. They don't think they're going to uh, come overseas to be with you. Amen. You got to learn to, 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 to know who you are in Christ. Amen. And know that it's not you. Know that it's not you. It's nothing you've done wrong. Amen. Always remember that it's nothing you've done wrong. You know, <clears throat> because people come and go, and you got to let them go when it's time. Amen. So know who you are in Christ, and uh, don't pursue what is leaving you. If it's not going the way you expect it, it's time to leave the person alone. Just leave them alone. If they don't, if they claim that they're too busy and don't respond to your text, leave them alone. If they don't <coughs> answer you back, leave them alone. Amen. If uh, they don't respond, if they don't, uh, uh, if they if they tell you. If you're dating a girl and she tell you, hun, I can't go on a date with you, I can't date you, leave him or her alone. Don't pursue after it. If that girl at your job, amen, that crush that you have at your job won't reciprocate, just leave her alone. Amen. Amen. If that item that you bought from the store doesn't work out, just put it back and leave it alone. Amen. If you have to leave that stuff in the cart at the store, amen, and just leave that stuff alone, just leave it alone, amen, because there is no need for it. There is no meaning and there is no purpose. If you're in a relationship where there's no meaning and there's no purpose, you got to learn to let it go and leave it alone, amen. And wait on the Lord. Definitely wait on God to bless you with the right person to come in your life, amen. Because a lot of these girl, women and a lot of men nowadays, uh, they rather be focused on their, their careers, they rather be focused on their education, amen. And they rather be focused on their dreams. And then once they successfully reach their dreams and their goals, then they'll be ready to pursue a relationship. <laughs> and that's how, <coughs> Each and every one of you ought to be is to pursue your dreams, pursue your education, amen. There's nothing wrong with going back to school and getting that degree and focusing on your priorities because you got to be right first before you go into a relationship. Oh, my goodness. I'm still yawning. <laughs> I wish I could stop yawning. Yeah, probably because I just woke up. <laughs> Amen. So we're going to go over uh, about three or four ways. Three ways of uh, <coughs> to adapt to reality <coughs> and leave what doesn't love you back alone and stop feeding after things that don't want you back. Amen. We got to stop loving things that don't love you back. Amen. Stop loving things that don't love you back. Because then it will make you unhappy. You won't feel good about yourself. You always will feel, man, what's wrong with me? Something wrong with me. That's probably why the girl that I met at my job don't want me. Amen. That's probably why the girl I met online doesn't want to see me. Amen. That's probably why the girl overseas uh, from, uh, from I don't know, uh, Europe, for example, don't want to come over here and see me. Amen. 
And you know, it's because of me. Amen. You got to come out of that mindset. Because that's nothing but <clears throat> <clears throat> the devil trying to work with your mind. <clears throat> Amen. See, when a relationship ends and one party is unhappy about the split, it can be very hard to let go of the hope that the relationship can be repaired. Some things in life doesn't require us to repair. It requires God to repair it. We can't fix people. We can't change people. We can't force people. We can't make people like you. You cannot <clears throat> get down on your knees and plead and beg for them to like you and for them to change their mind. The best thing to do is let them go. Amen. And let God do the fixing and repairing. Romantic and emotional attachment is the kind of <coughs> attachment that is particularly hard to cure. Often time, often only time. Inner work and in how a new romantic partner can help. We want to try to seek outside sources to try to get somebody back. <coughs> but yet we find out that it's not even working. Amen. If you are struggling to let go of an attachment to a person you love, I require you to get deep in the word of God. Some of us want to go to, to, to breakup therapy, which is good. Therapy is good, really good. But if you really need help getting over somebody, if you need to talk about something, nothing wrong with therapy. <clears throat> And if you are in need of therapy, I highly recommend that you seek help immediately. There are several uh, resources out there for you that could help you. Don't think, of, I mean, if you think about suicide, which is highly unacceptable, amen, and it is not recommended, amen. You got to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might no matter what happens, no matter who leaves you, rather if it's by life or death, <coughs> Amen. You got to let that person go, pick up the pieces and gird up those loins and move on and be happy and be in the right spirit. Amen. Because here's the thing. What's meant for you will stay. What's not meant for you has to go. Amen. If the person has left you, and they, if they're meant for you, they will come back to you. Amen. Sometimes a person can be meant for you for only a season and then their time is up. Amen. I remember talking about this the last time. The people, <clears throat> the women that I dated, what, five years ago. Amen. They were meant for me back then. Are they meant for me now? Absolutely not. Amen. If they, if they were, they would come back to you. Amen. Because some people leave you and come back to you. It's because God is working on that person to get them to where they need to be so he can bring them back to you and the relationship will go right. Amen. <coughs> so if that girl that you met online, amen, the person that you met overseas, if they are meant to be in your life, God will make a way for them to come to be with you. Amen. But for right now, you just enjoy your own self, be happy, and just let the peace of God that passes all understanding rest in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just thank the Lord on today for this message. I hope I'm encouraging somebody. Amen. It's also important to respect boundaries and their expectations. Never try to undermine and go against what people are trying to show you. If somebody says no to a relationship, if somebody says, no, I ain't coming to your city, amen, respect their boundaries and understand the reason why they ain't coming and just know that it has nothing to do with you. It is not the way you look. It is not the way how nice you are, amen. Just because you are nice and good person and wear some good clothes and smell good, amen, doesn't mean that the person is going to want you. Let the person <coughs> give them the option. To accept you or not. Amen. Another key thing that we need to leave alone is the past. Amen. 
Sometimes we could be remain stuck in the past, on a past relationship, on what we had a long time ago. And oftentimes we're fixated on our past because we long for the restitution of injustice. Amen. We got to learn that whatever happened in 2014, that was 2014. Amen. Whatever relationship you was in in 2015, that was 2015. Amen. If you're still in that relationship now, that's good for you. Amen. But if it ended back in 2015, let it go. Move on. And forget about the past. See, that's the problem with so many people. That's why we can't have good relationships because folks are too caught up in the past of what somebody did to them. And we got to come to that mindset to where we got to let that go. Amen. Find peace and let that go. Don't let the past confuse you. Amen. With your future. Don't bring the past into your new chapter. Amen. <clears throat> Then it could disrupt the harmony and disrupt the peace in your in your in your life. Don't go back to where God has delivered you from. Amen. Amen. You blessed to be in a nice relationship. Don't look back. Learn to let go of anything that happened in the past. And don't look back. Never look back. Amen. Because looking back is only gonna take you down in a worse situation. Amen. You see, we may long for something that we lost that we never had. We got to cut our fantasies out. Amen. Leave these fantasies alone. Amen. And just, 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 just get you and learn to get out there and get active and do something that you enjoy doing. Amen. We long for something that we never had. Or we may circle around a hurt that we simply cannot make sense of. What happened in the past happened. Amen. What happened back then happened. You got to let it go and move on. You can't go back to fix it. But I will tell you this. If you just leave it alone and let God intervene, did you know that the Lord can restore the years that the canker worm has meant for evil? Amen. God is able to restore the years. Amen. And 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 and, 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 uh, <clears throat> and move you into a new chapter, Amen. And you may have been through a lot of trauma in your life, Amen. You may have been through a lot of heartache in your life, but I'm here today to tell you that if you just let God do it, Amen. He will restore the years that the devil has taken away from you. He can make things better for you than the last time. I always tell myself this here. Uh, God, it's going to be better this time than it was the last time. Amen. <clears throat> and also, in addition to this here, uh, my, uh, mindfulness has been known to sh help overcome rumination. Amen. Mindfulness. Learn to take the time and enjoy going for a walk in nature. Amen. Uh, learn to go for, uh, you know, time off to your health. Amen. Get off to the things you enjoy doing. And the last one and final one is forgiving and understanding. People come and go. There's a time and season for everything. Just like the season now of summer. After a while, we will transition into fall. When you forgive and forget, you let the peace of God who passes all understanding, amen, set you free of being, of, of, uh, of and, and later being clarity to what the person is in reciprocating, amen. Ignoring you, bring you toxic baggage, amen. Don't get with somebody because of how pretty they look on the outside. You know, find out who they really is, what's on their mind. Find out what's on their mind. Amen. Don't move too fast. Oh, oh, I'm going to take you and meet my parents after day two of dating. Amen. Unless, amen, if you at church somewhere and you with your parents and you meet a woman then, then that's fine. Amen. But if you met her somewhere else, okay, get to know her first before you bring her around your family. Let her know you first. Amen. This is how I would do it. 
I would get to know her uh, just as two people hanging out, having fun, and then see where it goes and let it grow naturally instead of always trying to get a relationship out of person. Amen. Because if you move too fast in a relationship, then it just won't work out right. Amen. You got to really find out what the person is on, what's on their mind. Amen. Because what if you get, you get with a, a person that's full of toxic behavior? Amen. And we got to we, 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 that's why we got to take our time in life. The Bible tells us, be not anxious or eager for nothing. Amen. Take your time. Amen. Forgiving shows the respect of yourself. You got to respect yourself and forgive yourself. And you got to forgive others if you want God to forgive you. Forgive and just leave it alone. The act of forgiveness promotes better wellness, mental health, and lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. And I'm going to read with this last thought and I'll be all done. It is disappointing when someone you like or someone like you back. Amen. When someone doesn't like you back. Amen. But the important thing is is to understand that you aren't the problem. Everyone has a right to their happiness and desires. And if you're not on their menu, then see it as a good thing. Amen. So if you get an answer from a girl, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship yet. Oh, I'm not interested in a relationship. Right now, I just want to focus on me. Then see that as a good thing. Amen. But it does not mean that the both of you guys cannot stay in touch. And it doesn't mean that you guys can't hang out. Amen. Women, don't be afraid to hang out with a woman. I mean, men, sorry. <laughs> and men, don't be afraid to hang out with a woman. Amen. Let your past be the past. And forget about the past and just move on. And let the peace of God. That passes all of understanding. Hallelujah. Rest in your heart. Amen. You see, the Bible says in Philippians 4 and 7, and let the peace of God, amen, that passes all understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. The peace of God that passes all understanding shall have your minds, shall have your hearts through Christ Jesus. Amen. So the best thing for you to do today is just leave it alone. Take your mind off of it. Get your mind off of that. And let God do the rest for you. And trust me, God will do the rest. But you got to obtain peace and you got to obtain favor from the Lord. Amen. And let God do the rest. Amen. Amen. If that girl at the coffee shop, at your job, at a road trip, over in Africa, over in Europe, doesn't show interest, the best way to solve this issue is just to leave him or her alone. What's meant for you will be in your life. And sometimes what's meant for you is not time yet. Amen. What's meant for you will come to you. If it left you for a while, it will come back to you. So don't feel bad or be something that you're not just to be happy and occupy until God brings you what you need. God is able to give us what we need. And yes, God is able to give us what we want. Amen. As long as it's good for you. Amen. But we got to be full of joy. We got to let God rest in our heart. Amen. And we got to let God 
do the work for us. Amen. That's why some things it just pays just to leave it alone. Because if we don't leave it alone, there are consequences for things in life that we just don't understand. And saints of God, I'm here today to tell you that if you just let go and let God, he will do the rest for you. He will come in and he will start working. Amen. Because our God is a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Amen. Even when we don't feel it, even when we don't see it, God is still working. He never stops. He never stops working. Amen. So let the peace of God that passes all understanding rest in your heart. Amen. Because what is peace is, is in you. Nothing can penetrate you. Amen. Nothing can stand against you. Hallelujah. Not even that co-worker staring at you on your job. <laughs> can stand against you. Amen. 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 All right. Let's give God a hand clap of praise on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to thank the Lord for this beautiful message on today. I hope I was able to touch somebody's heart. And I encourage you to share this with a friend. Somebody needs to hear this today. Share it with a friend and become a subscriber to the channel. Amen. And hit that like and the notification button. Amen. So you can get the notifications on our latest videos because we do have more to come this fall season. Amen. Well, I'm about to get out of here and go on back to sleep for a while. <laughs> Yes. Well, you guys have a blessed Sunday. Peace be with you. And let the joy of the Lord be your strength.